Hello there, my son. This is Joshua coming at you today. So, I try to buy a GoPro, and man, it makes things a lot more complicated. So, I'm just using my phone. My camera on my computer stopped working. And this is why I've been making videos. Anyway, I've tried to make this video like three times now. So, this is the last time I'm trying it, and we'll see how it works. Um, a couple of days ago, uh, last weekend, um, I ran into a friend of mine from work, and uh, she was having some hard times. In fact, I went to go visit my friend in a Bible study, and that just, he wasn't even there, so I don't even know what I was thinking, because I'm just a moron. But I tried to go visit him, and that didn't work, because he wasn't there. And then I ended up talking to this woman, and I told her, like, hey, we could have our own Bible study. She's like, okay, sure, so we go to go talking. And as we're talking, I'm trying to talk about scripture, and all she can do is talk about her ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend this and ex-boyfriend that. And I keep trying to bring it back to scripture. And every single time I try, she goes back to her ex-boyfriend. And I'm like, this is not getting anywhere. So I'm listening to her, and I'm listening to her, and I'm listening to her, and I'm trying to figure out how I can steer this back. And I asked her, I said, hey, okay, so what in your life brings you joy? <clears throat> and she was like, well, my job, my uh, my family, and school. I'm like, okay. And I asked her, I'm like, do you know anybody that complains a lot? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, when you talk to these people that complain a lot, are they happy? And she's like, no. Are they miserable? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. The more you complain the more miserable you become. The more you are grateful for the things in your life, the happier you are. And it was interesting, when it came out of my mouth, I, I didn't really understand what I was saying until I said it. And once I said it, I started realizing that this applies not only to her, but it also applies to me. I am... I have problems. <laughs> okay. I, I'm missing my babies, and I love them dearly, and I haven't had them in my life for years. And that's hard, especially since they were so young, and now they're, they're probably not even anywhere close to resembling what I remember them being. Um, and that's just really hard for me to deal with. But I can't dwell on that. I dwell on, you know, I need to be grateful to God for making sure that they're protected and taken care of. Um, I need to be grateful that, you know, I have all this time to get closer to God. I have all this time to do research and do the work that God has provided for me. I need to be grateful that I have this awesome job and that I live so close to work that it makes it easy for me to do work and job and all these other things in between. And I told her, I'm like, listen, you need to find out what you enjoy. And if that's all you enjoy, that's great, but you need to find more stuff. And you need to be grateful for the stuff that you find. And you need to dedicate time to locating and figuring out what you enjoy doing. Because the more you realize what you enjoy doing, <clears throat> the better off you'll be. And I'm not talking about, I enjoy playing video games. I enjoy watching TV. Because honestly, watching TV and playing video games, anything that deals with non-reality is not going to make you happy. It's going to make you feel good in that moment, but it will not make you happy. And the only way it will make you feel good is if you're plugged in. And as soon as you unplug, the feelings of sadness and depression come back. So I recommend to people, do not fill your time with plugging in. Don't plug in. Don't avoid fiction. Do something productive. Build something. I mean, contribute, volunteer, help people, freaking do something. Give your life purpose. Be grateful for the things that are going on in your life. And if there's nothing going on in your life, get something going on in your life. I got kicked out of Whatcom Community College because I was talking about scripture. It's crazy. I was like, what? But I was grateful for it. Because, you know, if you, I have been on my own for a long time now. And... One of the things I had realized, or I had stopped realizing, is that I had stopped witnessing. I had stopped being a. Well, I mean, I would talk about scripture. I, I always talk about scripture, but I wouldn't go out of my way to find people to discuss scripture with. Because I was so focused on what I had lost. If you are complaining, you are focusing on what you have lost. There are two women that I work with 
at work. And not the woman that I'm talking about specifically, but I'm not gonna, I'm not naming names because it's not important. But the people, so there's, there's this woman that I work with and everything that comes out of her mouth is a complaint. Like bar none. Like it, it's everything that she says is complaining about something. And she is absolutely miserable. And there's another woman and all she can do is talk about all the things that are cool and going on in her life, all the awesome things that are happening. And she is happy, always happy, always cheerful, always bright, always loving, always, you know, just full of exuberance and joy. It's beautiful to see. And that's only because one focuses completely on everything that they've lost and the other one focuses on everything that they have and everything that they love and everything that they're grateful for. I'm sick and tired of dwelling on the things that I've lost. And it's sad. And I, and I, you know, everybody's like, well, you deserve to be sad. I'm like, no, I don't deserve to be sad. I'm tired of being sad. Being sad sucks.